Okay, last Thursday night's presentation we installed Cacti, which is an RRD tool, and basically it can create graphs, monitor your network, monitor your systems on your network, uh, traffic flows, and um, RRD is a round robin database tool, and then it can create graphs based on time uh, statistics, time based statistics of how things are performing on your network. So we did a uh, manual installation in class, so I'm going to do that this time instead of running an, uh, an, apt, an apt get install. We'll just do a download and we'll download it manually. So we're going to, I'm here at uh, the cacti.net, www.cacti.net um, website, and I'm going to save the file, the cacti uh, 0.8.7 g.tar.gz file to my downloads folder. So I've done that. Okay, so I've downloaded it here. All right. And let's see here. Let's go to the download cacti site. All right, I've done that. That looks good. Looks like there's a Windows version too. Um, we could have just done an apt get, apt get install cacti, but we're going to do it the, the long way. You need to have. Um, MySQL and uh, PHP my admin and PHP installed so it's good if you have kind of an Apache MySQL PHP um, installation already set up on your system for this to work. I think if you just download it with the app get it'll install all those things for you but I'm not sure. So I just downloaded the thing um, manually and now we're gonna open it up. So let's just verify where it's at in our downloads folder We'll go in here, and let's see here. All right, and I'm looking for it. There it is. Okay, so we've got it. So now let's open it up. Okay, so I'm going to open up a, a terminal window here, and there I am. So I'll go into my downloads directory and now I'm in my downloads directory and now I'm going to do a tar dash xf to extract the archive of cacti dash whatever your version of cacti is right so I'll do that and now I should have the folder and there it is I've got a folder right here now for cacti here's my compressed version my compressed archive and here's my extracted folder and now what I want to do is I want to copy this folder. I want to copy this folder to my um, to my web server. Uh, we have to make sure that we have a web server working, so I can open up here and localhost, and I've got a web server working, so that's good. We'll need that and where is the web server located let's see here um, change directory var dub 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 and looks like that's where I have my web server located Apache web server the web directory for the web server is located in uh, root var dub 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 so I will go back to my home folder uh, home dan downloads all right I'm in my downloads folder if I do an ls you can see I have the cop the cacti folder I want to copy the cacti folder I want to do it recursively so it copies everything within the cacti folder so, I'll just do this tab completion so there's this is what I want to copy that's the source file that I want to copy I want to copy this right and then the destination will be root var dub 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 I'll be copying it there right and that looks good and what I'm going to do also is I'm going to 
need to put a sudo on this at the beginning to make this work. Because I think I need root permissions to copy this. All right, done. So now if I change directories, and there is my cacti folder. Now I'm probably going to want to rename this. All right, I'm going to rename this file by moving it. MV, right, to permission denied. Let's put a sudo on the front. And now if I do ls, I've changed the name of the folder from cacti-0.8.7 dot G or 7G to just cacti so that'll be easier to see. So now if I go to my Mozilla and I type in cacti I've got the folder in there right so I go like that and I get this message that cannot connect to the MySQL server. So let's just briefly recap. Um, what I've done so far is I downloaded cacti into my downloads folders right and it was archived compressed archived so I extracted the archive right and then I copied it into I copied it into my root folder let's see I have a root browser here where I can browse all my root files this just makes it easy here okay there's the root folder, right? If I go into var and then I go into dub dub dub, so now I'm in root var dub dub dub. You can see I moved the cacti, extracted cacti folder, and then I renamed it to just cacti. Now it's in my web server, but if we go into our web server right here and we bring up localhost forward slash cacti, you can see that it fails. Well, just by extracting it and putting the folder inside the web server doesn't make it work because the whole thing is database driven. So we need a database in our in our MySQL database to make this work. So we're going to need to open up a new browser window and we're going to want to connect to our database by going to phpMyAdmin and, and using phpMyAdmin to create a database for cacti. So I'll put in my password here. Hopefully I remember it. Okay, let's try again. All right, I'm in. And so now I'm I'm into um, my tool here, right? And what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll be using this to create a database. But before I do that, I'm going to go back to my... I'm going to go back to... Um, I'll clear this, right? Back to my terminal and I'm going to go into the cacti folder and examine the cacti folder. So now I'm in the cacti folder. Uh, notice I'm in root var dub 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 inside of cacti and now I'm going to run an ls command. These are all the files and folders inside of cacti and I'm looking for a config file. So let's see here. Where is the config file? cacti.sql is the SQL file that needs to be imported into a database in MySQL. And um, let's see here. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm going to look at this in this include folder. So I'll go in the include folder. and do an ls and I'm looking now for configuration file config.php I think this is the config file right here so it's inside of the cacti folder inside of the include folder and so now I'll do a sudo gedit config.php ampersand to background the process and 
here it is.